How's it going? Today we're gonna learn Somewhere Only We Know. This one's a beautiful song. It should be fun to play. Make sure to check out my free 10 Steps to Mastering the Guitar Training in the description below. And let's get into the song. Alright, right there is going to be the strumming pattern we're going to use for all of the verses. So we're going to start here on an A and play seven down strums and then a down up. And then we've got a little bit of a run here that's going to sound like this. So what we're doing here is starting on that A, we're playing that first bar. Then we're going to be moving just this first finger down to the first fret to make an A major 7. And then our chord after that is going to be an A sus 4. And then back to an A. So just listen to me and figure out the timing to match it along. That's going to do a lot better to train your ear than just to try and count it out. So. So you're basically doing three here, two on the A sus four, and then back to the A. And then a little bit faster. And that's the first part of this verse. Then moving on, we're gonna do that same simple down, 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 up bar on a B minor. Nice and simple. One and two and three and four and up. Then we're gonna do a similar switch on an E sus four to a normal E. So it's gonna be. So you're doing three strums on this E sus four. So then you put that in and the second half of your verse is all together nice and slowly here's what we've got for the full verse. And there's your full verse. The timing's a little bit unusual, so just pay attention, really listen to what I'm playing there, and then try and copy it and match it. It'll help you a lot to be able to just listen to that and kind of hear where the timing is, and then kind of match your own playing to that. Okay, so moving on to the pre-chorus, here's what we've got. Nothing too complicated, we're using a lot of the same strumming from the verse. Just got a few bar chords here that are gonna be a little tougher to play, but starting on an F sharp minor, our strumming is gonna be one and two and three and four and up. Okay, so you're gonna do that on your F sharp minor and then do the same thing on a C sharp minor. After that, you're going to switch to a D and do the same thing. And then this last bar, we're going to play half D and half E. One and two and three and four. So this D is going to end up being played for one and a half bars. So all together. And there you go, there is the full pre-chorus. 
All right, now moving on to finish off with the final part of the song, the chorus. And there is the full chorus. So this one is one of those sections where you've got a lot of different chords and the order is a little bit hard to follow. So I've included the chords and lyrics to this song in the description below this video. You're going to want to open that up and listen and follow along with that as I'm explaining the chords to you. It's going to help you make a ton more sense of it. So to start off, we're on a B minor. And we're just going to be playing our same strumming that we've been doing this entire song. One and two and three and four and a one and two and three and four and a. We're just going to be doing that on every chord. We've just got a few chords here that we switch halfway through the bar like we've seen before. All right, so starting, we're going to do a full bar on B minor. And then we're going to switch halfway through the second bar from A slash C sharp to an E. A slash C sharp is just an A with this low C sharp note or the fourth fret of the fifth string. But it's a little bit more awkward to play because you're going to want to play this either with your pinky or your third finger and then a bar on these three strings. So you'll probably, if your fingers aren't that stretched out, have an easier time with the pinky. And then once you stretch out your fingers a little bit, you might like that third finger better. But in any case, we're going to do one and two and and then switch to the E. Three and four and up. One and two and three and four and up. So you're gonna do that B minor and then the A slash C sharp to E switch. You're gonna be play that three times. There you go, that's most of the chorus. And then it changes up at the end. We've got, you can see the chords on the screen here, but we've got a D and then an E to A switch, and then D, E, D, E. So this one should be easy enough to follow. Everything is a full bar except the E to the A. Those are half bars. Chords and lyrics are in the description. And you can just see as I play the whole thing for you. And right there, that is the fourth run through of the chorus. So as you can see, you've got this B minor, A, E thing going on for the first three run throughs. And then that last section of chords is where it switches up a bit. So as you can see, this is going to be the trickiest part is just sorting out those chords. But remember it like this, breaking it down, and it'll help you memorize it and just work through it a few times. Eventually you get the memorization of it, and then you can put it together, and the strumming is pretty easy. But with that, you can play this whole song. There you go. If you can play those parts, you can play the whole song. Just practice it, learn it, memorize it, get it nice and clean to play, and it should be a ton of fun. Please hit that thumbs up button if you learned something and say hi in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new upload from me.